some people do sleep at 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm filming at 5 a.m. in the morning like I could film at 5 a.m. in the evening oh my gosh why am I doing this again okay I need the coffee take your coffee okay I'm not even holding my mug the way I should I'm that tired it's 5 a.m. wolves but I'm gonna film that TBR so intro I'm not even joking, well, it's like it's 5 a.m. in the morning. I was about to say in the morning again. It cannot be 5 a.m. in the evening, but whatever. Um, this is the only time I can actually film this video, so excuse the mess. I was supposed to prepare all kinds of stuff, all, all kinds of stuff. Okay, it's gonna be a nightmare to edit this. But now, Wolves, that you know that you are aware that this video is gonna be a mess, that's your fault if you're still watching it. But please, stay. <laughs> The first coffee in the morning is just the best. Wizard, witches, or whatever you are. Okay, well, so today we are filming my Owl's Magical Readathon TBR. So in case you don't know what that readathon is, you just joined the community or you just stepped upon this video. This is a magical readathon hosted by G over at Book Rose. It has to do with Harry Potter, obviously, because we're gonna sit our owls, which uh, happens in the wizard ring world. So it's gonna happen the entire month of April. And then in August, we're gonna sit our newt. I was about to say owls, newt. <laughs> I could show you everything she created because she is an artist, she is so creative, she is one of the best creative person out there, but I will link her channel down below, she explained everything so you can have access also to the guide book, the career guidebook, career book she created, and you can pick the career you, you want to try, you want to aim for, you want to become kind of thing, so you know the prompts you're gonna have to pick. Okay, I don't make any sense, but they are actually 12 books, 12 prompts. Uh, you can do them all and you can just do them randomly because you want to do them or because you have books that fit the prompt. Uh, but you could also play the game and pick a career. And um, actually, I forgot the career I was going for. <sighs> Coffee. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, the stuff with the book, it's not librarian, it's trader of magical tomes. That's what I'm gonna go for. I'm probably not answering all questions or whatever, but feel free to ask them down below. But okay, check Book Pro's channel because she explains everything, that's her thing. But let's just jump into my TBR. Did I say it was happening in April? April 1st till the last day of April kind of thing? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I have here my magical iPad because my remembral is not working at the moment and doesn't help me remember what I should remember. So, normal TBR. Okay, so the thing you have to know is that you have careers in the book and you also have like conferences or courses or something going on at the very end of that guidebook. Uh, I'm not gonna pick anything because I'm actually uh, going to prioritize the books I need for my career and then for all the prompts. So I'm gonna try, yes, to read all the books, all 12 books for all 12 prompts. So it means that I could just be participating in any of the courses, conferences, kind of thing happening at the end of the book. <sighs> this video is gonna be a mess. I'm telling you it was a mess. <laughs> okay, so I have four prompts I need to read the book for in order to become a trader of magical tomes. So we have ancient runes, charms, mm, history of magic, and transfiguration. So for ancient runes, you need to read the book with a heart on the cover or heart in the title, and for that I picked. Frost Heart by Jimmy Littler because it has heart on the cover, not on the cover, in the title and because I was supposed to read that book like months and months and months ago but I haven't yet so I finally decided to really go for it and read it and it sounds like a very cute power fantasy middle grade kind of thing it's lots of adventures and it has a wintry setting I mean power fantasy so I'm all in for that because it's getting hot, like warmer and warmer outside, and I'm not happy, so yeah. Then we have charms, and for that I need to read a book with a white cover, and for that I picked 
uh, Natural History of Dragon 2, I forgot the name of that book, The Tropic of Serpents, A Memoir of Lady Trent, so by Mary Brennan. I've read the first one, it's over there as you can see and I loved it so much. It was so, I don't know, the main character was kind of sassy, she had some kind of humor, she was also very strong, determined, she knew what she wanted and she, like, she grew up at the wrong time kind of thing because she lives in a world where women cannot do anything but she wants to uh, become um, not a biologist but a naturalist and she wants to study dragons but she cannot do that but she's gonna do everything in order to make that happen and I really love the character I love the way it was written I loved everything about that book I was addicted when I started that book I had to finish it so I really hope it's gonna happen uh, with this one as well then we have History of Magic. For that you have to read a book that features uh, witches or wizards of some kind. And for that I picked The Girl Who Drank the Moon by, I don't know who, Kelly Barnhill. It sounds like a very cute middle grade. I've heard only good things about it and it has to do with a witch, like that girl. And she has a little dragon over there if you can see. And I'm all in for that. I don't know if it's a familiar, if it has some kind of power or whatever, whatever. But I'm super, super, super intrigued. And especially the title, The Girl Who Drank the Moon. The Girl Who Drank the Mood. The Mood? The Moon. Whatever. The title is just perfection. Then for Transfiguration, you have to read the book with some kind of transfiguration. <laughs> da -da -da. Shift shifting, that's what I meant. Shift shifting. And I was going through the books and I was like, oh my gosh, it has shift shifting. But I don't want to read that one. And that one sounds too cliche and blah blah blah. And I asked uh, on Twitter actually, and someone helped me with a natural history of dragons as well. I cannot remember who. And I don't have my phone here. Wait. Oh, Martina uh, from Mara Mira May. I will link her Twitter, etc., down below. She actually helped me pick. Um, sometimes I forget that I'm a witch. That book and yeah, thank you so much for helping me by the way. And now uh, the last one was actually picked by Katerina, Katerina the Bookworm. I will link her channel etc down below as well. And she helped me pick that one. Parasite. I don't know exactly what it has to do with. Uh, apparently some people have some kind of power and can shift some parts of their body kind of thing. So it sounds a bit gross, which I'm really into. I'm really intrigued. So I'm going to be reading that one. And that's a manga. So it's a bit out of my comfort zone. Not that I don't like mangas, but the only one I've read here recently is Death Note. And I need to expand my knowledge of mangas and comics, etc, etc. Okay, Walt, so we're done with the books I need to read for my four prompts for my magical career and we're gonna go with all the rest of the prompts because I'm that crazy, I'm that crazy. Especially at 5 a.m. like we have a residency and for that prompt you need to read a book that's outside of your comfort zone kind of thing and I don't know if you say outside of your comfort zone, outside from your comfort zone, outside of comfort zone, whatever, you got me, something I don't usually read and for that I'm not quite sure. I might pick that one, so the Institute by Stephen King or that one, like a love story by Abdina Semyon. I don't know which one I should, I think I'm gonna go with the Institute because it has been on ITBR for so long. This is way too much outside of my comfort zone so I don't know, it depends if I feel some kind of bravery inside me, you know, so of my... No, I don't have any Gryffindor bird in me, but you know what I mean. Like, if I feel brave or adventurous, I will go with that one. If not, I will stick to the Institute. <laughs> Then we have astronomy. For that, I had to pick a book that I will be mostly reading at night. And actually, Katerina picked my book again, and it is Tokyo Girl. I have been meaning to start that uh, manga series. We say manga series for a long time, never happened. I don't know why. I don't have any good reasons, but I'm finally gonna get to it. It has been ordered. It's coming. It's coming. Should be there next week. But. I ordered it, so I have to read it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have 80 unread books behind me, but don't mind it. <laughs> then we have Care of Magical Creatures. For that one, you need to read a book with some kind of beak on the cover. It could be a beak from a bird, a beak from an octopus, a beak from a magical creature, whatever. And for that, I picked Never Tell by, I don't know who, Catherine Orton, because it has birds on the cover, so I guess the bird has a beak, unless it is a magical bird 
without a beak, no, it has a beak. Uh, it's also a Final Fantasy kind of thing, middle grade, and middle, did I say middle grade, a weird way, middle grade, and uh, it sounds interesting, like a world of magic is only a whisper away. I love that kind of thing. And it has to do with Lina, who escaped from a Russian um, jail kind of thing with her best friend Bogdan, and I mean, there is a vengeful sorceress and her pack of shadow wolves. I mean, I think the what actually sold me is the word wolves. I don't need more wolves. Okay, next. <laughs> Defense against the dark art. For that, you need to read a book that's set near the sea or the coast or whatever. And for that, Katrina picked my book again. <laughs> Thank you, girl. And it is another manga series I was supposed to start like so many months ago. I'm so sorry. I'm just so bad at starting stuff because I, 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 I'm as bad at finishing stuff, but I'm also super bad at starting stuff. And this is Children of the Whale, which I'm super excited about. I totally forgot what it was about, but I know it sounded awesome. And look at the cover. Then we have Divination. Divination is actually, I have to pick a book randomly from my shelves. So, uh... Is there a generator kind of thing here? I don't even know how many unread books I have, so I'm gonna have to like pick a random... I don't know. Okay, let's pick a number from 1 to 60. I'm sure I have 60 unread books. Can you see? What's the number? 22. Okay, let me check. And again, I forgot I was a witch. A cute 22nd book from my DVR. The Binding by Bridget Collins. Uh, I wish it was a shorter book, but I totally forgot what it was about, but I think it has to do with books. A book about books. I think I'm pretty much close to the truth. <laughs> and I'm out of focus. Come on, focus on me. Focus on me. Focus on me. Focus on me. <laughs> then we have Herbology, and for that you need to pick a book that starts with the letter Simply that, simply that, and everyone was confused because the M actually looks like your I in brackets kind of thing, but no, it is a M. <laughs> and for that I picked Middle Game by Shana Maguire. Yes, it is a chunker, but I'm really excited about that one because it sounds amazing. It It's written by Shana Maguire, so obviously it's gonna be amazing, and I can wait to read that one, especially because it has to do with two kids who were born in a certain way, but their father is not their father, and they kind of have some kind of powers, and they're kind of gods, but they're not gods, if I remember well. Well, it sounds perfect. <laughs> Muggle Studies, it has to be a book written from a Muggle's point of view, perspective kind of thing, and again, Katerina picked the book for me, and it is Solanine. Yeah, Solanine, I think you said, and it has to do with a girl who needs to go through, you know, life and whatever, and she has to handle her problems. I don't know if it's problems like depression kind of thing, I totally forgot, or if it's problem with her parents, and she is a student, and she has to work kind of thing, so it sounds very contemporary kind of thing but it's a manga so I hopefully will go through it sounded awesome when I read the synopsis I'm excited about that one as well then we have potions and for potions you need to read a book shorter than 150 pages and for that Katerina picked the book for me <laughs> one week in the library I forgot what it was about but she said it was one of the best graphic novels out there so I believe her I think we're done here it was a pretty quick filming session I feel if I forgot to say anything, I will pop up while editing or write down stuff, etc, etc, you know, the usual. But yeah, well, I think that's it. Hello. This is me filming at 5 a.m. Hello, Wolves. <laughs> yeah, Wolves, uh, let me know what is your TBR, if you have filmed something or post something on your blog or whatever. Link it down below so I can check it. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know if you picked a book I actually picked as well, so we could maybe buddy read it, etc, etc. You know, the usual talk to me down below or on Instagram or on Twitter or anywhere. But yeah, Wolves. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, Wolves. Bye. Why am I doing this instead of this? <laughs>